Hey. <laughs> I have no idea what we're looking at, but I really like it. All right. So we're looking at um, my Headrush gig board, and it's expanded with the Mastermind LT from RJM Technologies. This is, this is my rig at the moment. It's expanding, and the Mastermind LT gives me complete control over the over the Headrush uh, gig board, so I don't have to use any of the switches on the gig board at all. Yep, thus preserving them. Yes, exactly. So we're known the Achilles heel of our multi effects are the ones, the knobs that you step on the most, the pedals that you step on the most. The Nobody switch, likes having their knobs stepped the, on. The switches that you step on the most. They're the things that are eventually going to break and you're going to have to replace them. All right, so the switches that I step on the most um, are tap tempo. Yep. And also accessing my tuner. Right. Right. So... I've been able to expand that with the Mastermind, but also include this switch here, which gives me two switches, the switches that I use the most, tap tempo, doot, 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 for my delays. Wow. And this one. <laughs> so I can access my tuner. Okay, right. So the theory being, that's like a $50 switch and they're the two switches you use the most. Correct. And so they'll break the most often, so they're the sacrificial $50 switch that you can throw on the bin and replace at any time. Exactly. They're right. the ones we're going to step on all night. All right. So with the... Um, just before we continue... Yes. The overhead cam at the moment that you can all see, I've got it. The I've got the brightness turned right down on it so we can all read this screen <laughs> and this screen because when I had it just up at normal aperture, you couldn't read the screens. It was too bright. So anyway, that's why it looks really dark so we can all read the screens. There yeah, of course. So I've set up this um, this mastermind so I don't have to access any of the switches on the head, head rush. Yep. Um, I can if I want. Um, I've got a, a power bank power supply underneath the, the mastermind, yep. uh, which is uh, it's cord free. So yep. it, it'll give me 10 hours gig worth of um, a rechargeable power supply. Yep. Um, so the only the only cord connecting my mastermind to the head rush is a MIDI cable. That's it. Yep. Um, but so you're I've, sorting that out, aren't you? Yes. So we're going to go wireless MIDI at some stage. <laughs> so the head rush itself can be out of harm's way. Yep. Uh, out of the way of somebody accidentally dropping a schooner full of beer on top of it or something like that. Um, if I if I so choose. Yeah, the way and, and the best part with the mastermind being a sacrificial thing as well. Yeah, is that if somebody does spill a beer on it, you've got all this backed up on your Mac, so you can just grab a new unit, re right. yep. reload all your presets onto it, and off you go. Yeah, and away we go. So the way I've got it set up at the moment is for some presets on the first function. So, um, so I've got four four rigs here across the front. Okay, so the first one is is. Uh, a fairly clean rig. Alright, so if I want to use that as a stock bog tone, I can then go into my stomp mode. So the next function is for block switches. So now all my switches across here, one, two, three, four, five, six, will control my first six blocks. Right. On the head rush. So if I want my clon drive on. I'm there like that. Yep. If we push on number three, I'm engaging my tube screen. And so on and so forth. My EQ setting. Bit more gain. Chorus. Oh, that is a lush, lovely chorus. Okay. I've also got my sacrificial tuner um, switch is actually assigned to switch four on the head rush. So it can switch <laughs> my delay on and off if I want. I don't want my long delay on. I do want my long day on, delay on now. And I've still got tep tempo. Okay. Cool. Glorious. Lovely. If, if I want to use just the four switches that are on the head rush because they have um, secondary commands on them. Yep. So if you step on them for a, a long period of time, you actually get access to changing your view. So you can change into stomp view, you can change into rig view, you can change into set list view, etc. Right. Yep. I okay. love the way the, uh, the LEDs 
change to the same colour as what they are on the uh, headrest. I said it like that. Did you? Yes. Because <laughs> you get on the on the master one. It's very cool. You, uh, these LEDs are uh, you can assign any colour to them. Perfect. Okay. Cool. Because I know with the HX Stomp, I really rely on the colour of the rings to yeah. know what effects I'm turning on and off in yeah. the, on stage. Yeah. Um, so you can go back to back to normal mode if you want. We go back to um, our. Uh, our foot switch one to four, which is what the setting is. And if you want to go into looper mode, you've got looper controls there. All yep. right. And then these all control, these foot switches then control all the commands that are up there as well. All right. That's awesome. You can, on, on these four things. Yeah, 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 exactly. So if you want, you can just momentarily switch them and you can get your boost on and off, right? Yep. Your drive on and off. Yep. as they're corresponding to how they're set up into your hardware assign. Sweet. But if you hold on them, you get what the text is un un underneath the uh, the main switches on the head rush. Do you hands-free looper and tuner? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. So if you go into hands-free mode, yep. you can then hands-free, use your expression pedal to change uh, the parameter uh, amount for each of those and go into your next parameter. Uh, so parameter up, parameter down, next parameter, Okay, so this is for editing IR in this mode. Next slot, uh, the delay. So you can change that hands-free. That's yep. the way you go. And then you hold for exit. Cool. That's very cool, isn't it? <coughs> so you have to excuse me, because um, I'm actually not a headbrush user. This is Rod's unit. I, I haven't had any experience of playing around with this, so I'm just sort of being guided here. So if I'm asking stupid questions for all your headbrush users at home, just don't hold it against me, all right? Ask the question, ask away. Um, I really like how uh, you, you can, really in a, in a live setting, what are you going to set up? You're going to set up maybe three different amps. Yep. You know, you're going to have a something that's... Something that's maybe voxy, something that's, that's martially. That's another version. And that's a bit more voxy as well, you know. Man, there's some great tones. <laughs> yeah, and then and then another brown, you know, JCM 800. Cool. So you can have your head rush unit yep. out of the way, maybe just in front of your amp or something like that, away from sure. all the beer spilling idiots. Yeah. And you can have just this little mastermind and your little double switch there at the front of the stage near your mic stand, getting beer spilled on it, stood on, Ex stolen. <laughs> exactly. And it preserves your head rush. Yeah. 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 That's, it, that's amazing. Exactly. And you've got full functionality of all the head rush switches. Yep. From the Mastermind LT. Absolutely. That's amazing. Um, and if I want, I can have the expression pedal going directly into the Mastermind. So the expression pedal can be down there in front yep. rather than tethered to the head rush. The so point. it doesn't need power at all. It's passive. No, correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Um, it's Sweet it, rig, dude. I'd, yeah. I'd love to see this with uh, the wireless MIDI when it shows up. This would be amazing. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's going to make it even um, even more user-friendly. I mean, um, you, you can, can, have, you un can you unplug the... MIDI so I can flip it over and show everybody? Sure, absolutely. I want to unplug. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, so there it is there, just a little... Little power bank. Little power bank, um, <laughs> little cable out, your little USB cable out to power it, and yeah, that's it. Well, that should be good for 10 hours. That's amazing. Amazing. <laughs> amazing. Um, I've also got... I mean, that's just sitting up there for the time being, and it's just Velcroed on, but I can actually peel that peel this guy off and bring him down down to the side if I want, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, bring him down there or wherever you want. Yep. But that's just for ease of ease of packing storage. Perfect. Ah, let us know if you Good you've, job, uh, man. This yeah. is a super impressive rig. <laughs> it's very neat. Um, let us know if, if you've had some MIDI fun with your, with your head rush. Yeah. Or if you've got any questions about this. But this... Um, the mastermind, I can't fold it. It's a really good bit of kit. Yep. Um, you know, and we're not endorsed by any of these companies. No, that's right. Everything you're looking at here, Rod's paid for. Yeah. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> uh, done. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe button. Um, 
Do yeah. all that good stuff. It all helps us out. And yeah, yeah. Good job, mate. Play us out. Yeah. Tones you got in this thing. I reckon they're great. Good fun. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.